This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another Toy Hacks review and I'm going to apply this fantastic figure to this most amazing of figure. And I just use the word figure to refer to the decals, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, Jazz, a great mold. Uh, I know my buddy input didn't uh, like the mold too much, but he's my first Jazz ever and for the cartoon accuracy, love it. A little bit, uh, you know, a lot of clear plastic. You know, you want to be careful when you transform him. Um, it's a big, a bit of a back cable to it, but I like him. The paint application's already good. Uh, the uh, you know silver highlights and everything. So we're gonna take a look at him more in detail. Uh, voiced by the late Scatman Crothers, a, you know, great artist overall. You know, he was playing, uh, you know, in speakeasies back in the uh, 40s or maybe uh, 50s as well and then 60s had a good career uh, lots of music check out his stuff on YouTube uh, it's all there it's uh, it's pretty good uh, check out my voice acting playlist and also check out the rest of my voice acting stuff uh, also the interviews uh, something I'm very proud of and at the end of the video you can get your 10% discount code for DJC collectibles a fantastic online store and uh, that's where I get all my stuff uh, except exclusive but even then, sometimes later he gets the exclusive that I couldn't get. So, you know, he's uh, he's got connection. It's good. And take a look at the online store. But for now, let's roll the intro. Alright, taking a quick look at Jazz, he looks really good already. I'm just gonna remove the gun. Won't need it probably for this. But, uh, you know, Jazz looks really good. Uh, you know, black and white deco, uh, blue highlights here. I like the headlight looking good. Uh, this is all painted and there's no. It's not reflective or anything so I don't know if uh, there's uh, gonna be a toy hacks uh, decal for that because it's fun when the lights uh, the headlights shine a little more so I uh, like the uh, highlight on the uh, shin uh, toes and everything uh, silver looks good and the cable you know not bad it's, it's a very fair representation of jazz I really like him the face sculpt is you know classic Looks really good. Yep, no, looking forward to applying those decals. Uh, which we're gonna take a look. Uh, how many sheets do we have? I think we have four. So we have the big one here and we have three more. So we have a bunch of sponsors. Um, Martini, Porsche. Yeah, so that's gonna be classic. Oh, this one on silver backing. Don't know where they go, but this looks more like robot mode decals you have look at all those windows and those i don't know if you can call them a racing stripe but looks really good uh, martini porsche don't want to forget and then you know the proper number uh, martini porsche uh, martini racing agent meister yeah martini did a lot of sponsorship i don't know if it's still like that there's laws in canada's now where you can't advertise any type of uh, you know cigarette brand so and then you have two Autobot logos one probably to match the uh, the stripe uh, if you don't want to have the number four you can have this you know what I just might do that and then you have the uh, extra Autobot logo so this looks really good it's gonna be an interesting uh, experience so final look at Jazz before he goes to the paint shop they made a magnetic junction! I can't shake them! Alright, back from the paint shop, and he looks really good. But I've made a couple of mistakes on this set, and I'll uh, I'll show them to you, unfortunately, because uh, they're, it's... Well, one of them is pretty obvious. So what we have left is nothing on... Well, there's the extra visor, basically, if you want to give him a silver visor instead of a blue. And I chose the metallic blue, looks really good. You have... Okay, this... It's weird. I, I, I'm weird. Basically, these options here are to make him more 
G1 toy accurate. So I didn't pick those. Um, I don't mind the toy accuracy as much as I, I need the cartoon accuracy. Uh, but in the cartoon, he didn't even have those. I went with uh, what Toy Hacks describe as realistic option. So, I don't know. It, it, it's just pretty much the same thing, except this is here larger on the wheels. Um, this is a similar strip, but silver backing and the other were on white uh, backing. So, And uh, what's left is a couple, you know, for the racing stripe, you have a couple options. There's one without the Autobot logo. One width, obviously I picked that one. And this is for here, you can put the number four or you can remove it. Uh, I decided to go with the number four because I didn't use this one, which would have went here with the number four. So you have three options. Number four, no, nothing, just the stripe or the Autobot logo, which I picked. And then you have, what do I have left? Uh, an Autobot logo here. And then you have uh, Martini and Rossi, Martini Racing, Agent Meister. Uh, those are the leftovers. So, and uh, do I have anything? No, the, these are clear decals. Really well done. Uh, and the uh, they're basically for the promo item, uh, the sponsorship and stuff. So uh, they look really good, all of them. Um, You'll see Libby's mistransformed. Well, for me, he's mistransformed because there's decals that go inside the doors. If you want to put, so I put, I, I've put them. You don't see them much, especially that I usually close the door and just tuck it underneath like this. Uh, look at the visor decal, metallic blue. Looks really good. I have these two here that will, um, while well, this won't show in alt mode, but this will. Looks really good. You have a little black stripe for the arm. Looks good. Uh, shoulder decals. Uh, those are two pieces. So you have top half, bottom half on each side. Uh, looks really good. Kind of just targets. So not bad. And then you have for uh, the uh, the legs. You have this two different decals. One with a red arrow pointing down, and then a golden arrow pointing kind of. On the right, so uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if the, that's part, part of a comic or um, probably not the cartoon. Maybe the original sticker had that. Uh, he has decals here. You have some enhancement here, but that translates a lot more uh, in uh, the um, alt mode. And then here, um, you you can't really tell, but basically there's a, a certain angle to these decals. So this one I applied correctly. But this one, you can see a little bubble right here. Basically, I reversed it because, there you go. But when I tried to remove it, I could see some uh, paint, not scratches, but sometimes it, it's, uh, well, I'll show you, give me a second, I'll show you what I mean on cup. So cup, I peel, I, I put on the, the decal here, okay? And it's supposed to be one color, but you can see all those little things here. That's because I peeled it off to try to realign it. And when I did that, some of the paint kind of disappeared. So it, it's too bad. So Jazz, when I tried to do to readjust this one, I started to see the same thing. So I'm like, nope, he's going to stay misaligned. Don't care. Um, I don't care that much. Anyway, leftover decals. Uh, there's the crotch area and the amps. Look really good. Good nod to G1. And then you have the sponsors, which we'll see in the robot mode. So nothing for the gun, as usual. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to show the back cable too much because, uh, well, that's another mistake I made, but it shows a lot more in alt mode, so we're going to take a look. So, uh, final look at Jazz and Cup after the decals. <laughs> Any luck, Jazz? Negative. North side of Cybertron's blacker than the inside of a drive shaft. All right, quick look at Jazz before I apply the decal. I love this alt mode. I mean, yeah, sure, the back feet, you know, could have done a little better job, but it's not that bad. I mean, the the accuracy is still really good. 
I like, I even like on this one, I like the clear window. I mean, I'm not gonna miss them when I apply those wonderful decals, but still, you know, it's not bad. And a oh, little gap it here. Oh, oh, there you go. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to it. I mean, I like the, um, you know, the blue, black, red stripe with the Autobot logo. Uh, the front end looks really good with that grill. Um, no headlights, no plates, you know, that could have been something interesting. Um, I wish they would fix this where you see markings, but you know, and I like the, um, heck, I've never used a word to describe this in English. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you know, that fin thingy, sorry, but put, put it in the comment, make fun of me. Go ahead. Um, oh, that could be the French word of the day, though, aileron, which means this thing. All right, final look at Jazz uh, before he goes to the paint shop. Pow! Trailbreaker! Wheeljack! Ironhide! Mirage! Sunstreaker! Sideswipe! Autobots! Start your engines! Ready, Prime! And here we are in car mode, and yes, he's mistransformed because I didn't want to forget to tell you. Uh, on the side of the leg, I forgot to show you, there's an extra little decal um, on the exterior. So, uh, looks really good, you know, mechanical parts. And then you can plainly see my mistake here. So, all right, I'm going to show you a picture, and I hope it comes across good on camera, uh, on the video, because there, there was here... There's two, there was two sets for the door. So, you know, in case you mess up, uh, you put the, the, uh, the second set. And when I applied the first set, now taking a look at the picture, you could see in, you know, with good lighting, that the 14 was coming across again, through the sticker. So you could see what's underneath. So I told myself, oh, I'll just add the second set of decals over the first one so that because they're the same so it'll be it'll be fine you know i'll just see the um the four and without having the 14 underneath but when i opened the door uh to, when i transformed him i pushed it back too far and it peeled off and it scratched both decals and i'm like ah oh, god damn it so can't really fix that you know short of ordering a new set and peeling this off and i'm not gonna do that uh so live and learn you know be careful after you apply decals make sure you check what you're transforming which parts are affecting um are being affected by the new layer the thickness of the decal so it's like super thin but it, it still has a, an impact so all right taking a look at jazz or Mirage now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't think that. I, I don't care about the trailer. Um, the front end, you have the martini with a new grill. So basically, that's a two part decal. You first apply martini with a white backing um, all the way down here uh, that goes over the uh, painted grill or the molded grill. And then you apply another decal uh, on top of it. So they don't tell you that in the instruction. You kind of just have to figure it out. Uh, nothing for the headlights and then you have a shell then here you have the Bilstein Bosch shell on both sides uh, you have the turbo loader with some warning or whatever logo that is uh, this here it's uh, it's really fun so basically this isn't the same four as you saw earlier it's the uh, number four that goes underneath. So basically, when you flip the robot, it's another four that you see when you transform it. There's a super tiny here, Porsche logo. You have the Autobot logo, the four. This here is a two part decal. So basically what's in the hole and what's around it. And then you have another one right here Again, the window is a two-part decal. So basically you apply the whole window and then you add Martini Porsche on it or if you want the other option for Rossi, Racing and Agent Meister. Then you have a decal here that goes over the hole. And then you have a three-part decal finishing the, the line. 
so uh, on each side and then the little bit here uh, before it connects to the window which is a two-part decal too and you have an extra for this part here just in case the racing stripe like i said i chose the more realistic option rather than the uh, g1 toy accuracy so this whole line the door see this one didn't scratch hold on there's a a little bit of decal that kind of peeled off. And, eh, it's fragile. So live and learn, not every decal has, you know, like this, one decal over the other works fine. But then this, uh, you know, two decals on top of each other, just giving me grief. Uh, you have the side of the windows, looks really good on both sides. The back your window looks really good too. Uh, you have the Martini Porsche, uh, which basically that's a, um, the other option would have been with the silver backing um, to make it more, uh, you know, toy accurate. Um, similar to actually Mirage, the Mirage decal had a lot of silver highlights for the Classics Mirage. And then you have Martini at the back. Man, I haven't smoked in five years, but I'm getting a hitch. And then you have the tail light uh, underneath. Well, no, the exhaust decal, four of them. Looks really good. And they hide, <clears throat> that's cool because they hide the serial number that's here. That was a part when you closed it, it still showed underneath. So kind of looked odd. You have the tail light here with the red. So that looks really good. So overall, a very, very good set. I mean, he looks really good, even with the scratch here, you know, that's a racing scratch, you, you know, you hit a pebble, you scratch something. Oh yeah, and there's the Dunlop uh, logo right here. Well, not logo, but the brand name. So, looks really good, and then the black stripe from the foot. I like this one. Very, very, um, I don't know, it looks more like a racing, uh, racing Porsche, you know, that you with all the, the branding on it. It's, you know, that car sold out to get money, <laughs> basically. But I really dig it. So this is where I'll uh, do my final thoughts. I'm really happy with this set. Disappointed that I messed it up. But, uh, it you know, it's, it, it happened once in a while that uh, you can't uh, you know get the whole thing you know, done perfectly. So, um, oh, I forgot another decal right here underneath. You have the Martini Porsche on the side, see? Full of surprises, this thing. But I love it. It's uh, I recommend it. Go ahead, Jazz. That's a, uh, a must-have if you want to make him uh, stand out uh, in your collection. So he looks really good. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.